Right, muckers. Now, in that opening sequence, you'll have seen me driving not one T6 180, but two, because this is the diesel and this is the methane tractor. Now, what I want to do today is have a proper look at this and see where this could fit in a modern farming application. And where I am today is exactly the right place that the T6 180 methane really holds its own. Right, so this is Ben. You farm and contract about two, two and a half thousand yeah, acres. Yeah, 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 something like that. It's a little bit of everything. Um, arable, um, a lot of energy crops um, for our digester. Um, AD plant that we're supplying with feedstock and taking away the digestate. We're here to look at the methane tractor. You're an ideal candidate for that. Wow, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I should just point out that Ben isn't just like somebody that's using a methane tractor because of the obvious, uh, but you've been involved in the development of the methane tractor with New Holland. Yes, yeah. You've had several of the prototypes. Yes, we have. So like you said, along with your farming and your contract, you've got your AD plant. So obviously most of us know, some won't. What's an AD plant? Best way to describe it is a concrete cow. Um, right. as, as I, I still think that is the best way. Yeah. You, you, you're putting feed stock in the feed hopper, so effectively yeah. your cow's mouth. Yeah. Um, it's being fed um, via pumps and, and auger screws and stuff like that into the main digester that you can see behind us. The bacteria in the main digester are exactly the same as what you'd find in, in a, a bovine stomach. Yeah. Um, they are breaking down all of the, your feed stocks the methane gas is rising into the into the top of the tank, into the green dome. The gas is being harvested, um, put into a CHP over the other side, um, burnt in the CHP. And then the digestate is being taken from the digester into the storage tank, which then we are extracting and, uh, and spreading back on the land. I don't see anywhere here that you're fueling, like a fueling station or anything because you're using this trailer. Yes. As you said, you've been uh, at the forefront of uh, the prototype tractors. Um, so you're not just gonna go, oh yeah, we'll have something that may or may not work. Uh, so we'll invest a load of money, something yeah. that may or may not be, you know. Exactly. Work. Most of you will know this gentleman, which is New Holland's very own Dave Redman. Uh, and you remember Dave from the Doe Show where uh, we first saw the methane tractor and Dave said he would let me have a look at one. I actually want to hear one. Okay. Right, and uh, so, can you sort something out with uh, that? As is you, Kurt, I'm guessing we could do something, I'm sure. There we are. Well, you've stuck by your promise and yeah. here she is. Ben's already told us that with his setup, having an AD plant, the methane tractor fits in fantastically. But there must have been a point, Dave, that somewhere along the line, somebody came in the office at New Holland one morning and said, right lads, gather round, this is, this is gonna be a cracker, methane. How did that conversation start? <laughs> so it, it's not new, it's not like we've just woken up and thought of this. Uh, back in 2013 is when we started messing around with prototypes uh, of the tractor four cylinder engines right. running on, on gas. And, and methane, we haven't discovered methane, let's say it's discovered us, i.e. You know, methane AD plants are on farms. It's a simple answer, isn't it? It's free fuel, as you said, uh, from yeah. a methane plant. So it's a case then of harnessing that? Harnessing, capturing the gas, cleansing it, compressing it, and then fueling a gas-powered vehicle with it. It's sim simple as that. So when you, when you look at one of our partners, Benderman, uh, drop in, name dropping there, uh, slurry pits have to be capped by, is it 2026? Yep, uh, something like that. Something yeah, like yeah. that. So uh, if you put a cap over the top of a slurry pit, what's coming up is methane gas. Um, the Benderman solution is uh, a membrane in, in the cap, harness the gas, clean it, power it. So for a cattle farmer, it's got to be another solution. It's a no-brainer, no again, isn't it? Now, like everything on the internet, there's tons of experts. Mm. Most of them are either in a basement or in an armchair. But anyway, that's all the point. When we did the video of the methane tract at the Doe show, you know, there was comments and that like, you know, that hasn't got the range of a, of, of a big, what about if you want to do 15 hours a day? There's no way you can just go out and put some cans of diesel into it. And that, in this, that, it'll never catch on, that's a stupid concept, this, that and the other. I've got viewers 
they've got the low sheds and they've got little skid stairs and stuff to clean them out. And a big load and shovel's no good to them. But they don't go on oh, big load and shovels are no mm -hmm. good. They won't they don't fit just because they mm -hmm. don't fit an application doesn't mean it's no good, does it? Mm -hmm. We all know where the diesel job is going. We all know where it's going for contractors. It's already done it in construction yeah. and other industries like that. I do fear that there is going to be a time where we are going to have to be running on white diesel um, and, and for sort of road tax reasons and stuff like that. You don't have that with a gas tractor. You know, anybody that is producing methane, whether you're an AD plant, whether you're a dairy farm, a veg farm that's using, you know. All the waste and everything. Exactly. You've got all that waste. Let's go a little bit broader. If you did have an AD plant where you're producing both methane and electric, you've got two other power sources which mm -hmm. are basically free. Yeah. There's never been one fits all. No, exactly, and I think that is something moving forward that people need to recognise. I think, like you say, in agriculture, yeah, there's a place for electric, for your little scraper tractor or something mm. like that. There's a place for hydrogen, for perhaps your telehandler. There's a place for methane, for, for that sort of, you know, the, as we're talking about the applications yeah. we're sort of doing, the medium, the small to medium to maybe sort of higher tier activities. But then there is still going to be a need, in my opinion, for diesel for those higher applications. <laughs> Apart from like basically the cylinder head, I know it's, I'm going to really, you know, insult you a little bit here. There's a lot more goes into it, but just a different cylinder head. The, yeah. the engine is that well-known, well-proven FPT. Exactly. With some different stuff on top, yeah. because it's got to burn a different fuel. Correct. That one runs on diesel. Yeah. That's on methane. Yeah, exactly right. So the the the, the block itself is the same 6.7 liter as the diesel. Yeah. Um, there's major differences really in the cylinder head obviously yeah. uh, because it's got gas injectors yeah. in it yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got spark plugs in it yeah the turbocharger is liquid cooled so it's got a water jacket okay. around it yeah so that's one of the other differences and then on a diesel tractor you have the big uh, cleanup chamber for yes. the diesel on the, yeah. on the right hand side well that's gone yeah, so there's a three clean way, burn isn't it clean burn there's just a three-way catalyst that you'd find on your car just under, tucked neatly underneath the bonnet and that's pretty that's much it, it. thousand rpm and this is hard going let's give her the beans I'm gonna say it's actually more lively than a diesel and I don't think I'll be saying that I honestly thought, you know, there's going to be, it's just not going to be as uh, talky as a diesel. Can't be. Why would it be? But it is. Alright, as we said, it's down to software, but whatever. It's not what I expected. You've currently got that tanker system because, um, well, you're not going to invest into a fueling station when you've got a tractor that you didn't know if it's going to work. Yeah, definitely. But now, 18 months down the line, you know the tractor works for your system, so you, as you said, you'd be happy to invest in a proper fueling system now. Mm, definitely. When it comes to fueling one of these, is it is there something specialist you have to do? Is it difficult? Or? It's, no, it's not difficult at all. Um, it's, it's everything, um, when they came down to sort of talk to us about it first off, everything is in straight lines. You plumb the gun into the tractor, you turn the main valve, and then you turn the isolated tank on. Um, it takes 
if you were filling up from empty empty it might take as much as five six minutes if you were just putting a little bit in half a tank a couple of minutes it is very very simple it's very very up clean five or six minutes from empty yeah yeah just because of the pressure yes so, can you show us of course you can yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 definitely no problem at all. Do that. you got your filler mm -hmm. is that that little tank you're talking about yeah, so that is your, your air cylinder. So yeah. as I say, you're wanting to charge that to five bar every time just to make sure you're getting the optimum amount of pressure for filling yeah. the tractor. If you let that get down as low as perhaps four or three bar, it really does make a big difference in filling. That can change your, your five minute fill time to maybe eight or nine minutes, maybe even 10 minutes. Disconnecting this pipe just here, which is on quick release. Yeah. And then all of this lifts up. Ah, you take, you take it, it with you. I see. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> literally plugs into Plug your air in. brakes. Poof, done. Yeah. And you get your five minute fill. Yeah. Open your cap, and this is your fuel gauge. You've also got a fuel gauge in your tractor. Plug your gun in. That is now on. You can hear that just making yeah. a little bit of noise there. That is now on and ready to go. You open your main valve. I reckon we'll bypass number two for the time being and go straight to number three. And as you can hear now, back at the tractor, the tractor is now filling. That is, as you say, relatively simple, isn't it? Nothing much to it. No. Uh, six to eight hours, medium or heavy work. You got a six to eight hour work and window. But let like, for whatever reason, you come very close to running out of fuel in the field. Or you do what I just have that little hour or two just to get it done before the weather turns. Diesel tractor, a couple of drums in the back to pick up, and you're right. Can you do? Is there something you work? Yeah. So um, you can buy a like you can a diesel bowser. You can buy a gas bowser. A set, a set of tanks that go on to like a uh, one of these aluminium trailers yeah, yeah. Uh, which is on there and you just pull up alongside and fill up in the same way so you can basically you can have a bowser yeah yeah exactly uh, so th yeah so that's because every time i've spoke to anybody about the whole thing that you know, i saw you saw that at the dough showing up but yeah what about if you got you know i think everyone thinks if you ran out you're and you got this some huge you got to tow it back or something yeah, like that. Yeah. But well, you can, you, you can, can bit me. Yeah, you can fill it. Have up. a little bunker and tow it back, you know, to tow that to the field and refuel, refuel it, it to extend just to get that yeah. last bit done. Or, or back to the farm. Or, or, back or whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, again, that just makes the whole thing, it's, it's just not so not so scary, I suppose, mm. the whole concept, isn't it? Which we know yeah. it isn't. You say, if you've actually seen this tractor and seen what Ben does with it, it's, it's just a tractor. It's just a tractor. Let's try out a scenario, and this is just like fag packet calculations. Absolute ballpark figures. But, and I know someone's gonna turn around and say, yeah, but I'd get a better trading, or my dealer would give me a better, whatever, would keep it. No. <laughs> would it be unfair at this point today, again, just as baseline, to say a T6 180 diesel tractor, conventional tractor, and don't say, oh, I'd spec it with another spool or what? 100,000 pounds. 100,000, yeah. Let's yeah. use that as a, a baseline figure. Baseline figure. Yeah. If, if that was the price, yeah. how much more would the methane tractor be because of all the other stuff, the engineering? Yeah, okay, so uh, if you look at the two, uh, a diesel tractor compared to the methane, yes, it's, it's going to be more, slightly more money. How much you're working, more? You're talking about 10 grand, ballpark figure, 10 grand. Oh, right. 10,000 pounds. That's not actually as much as I thought. So to 10 grand more? Yeah. All right, well, that's good. That's a bit of a surprise. I thought it'd be a lot more, but all right. So, but there's 10,000 more. You've got to fa you know, factor that in. Now, Ben, you've been running the methane tractor and you reckon your tractors, on average, go anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 hours a year. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. Okay. So you've been keeping an eye, obviously, because at the moment, just to reiterate, because he's trialing the tractors, uh, you're buying in fuel, as you can see over there, but your plan is obviously to use your own fuel that you're producing and have yeah, a, a yeah, fueling yeah. station. In the future, yes. Because now you know it works yeah. for you. Right. Yeah. But at this point, you're buying it. Hmm. So with that in mind, 
thousand hours, bring it down. We know we've seen fuel in the last 18 months just double. Mm. So diesel's roughly, again, average, pound a litre now. Yeah. You, that's kilograms. It's, oh, yeah, it's tricky to, to, yeah, but we can, we can, we can do a calculation. Out. Need my right. calculator yeah. in a minute. All right. <laughs> if you had a diesel tractor and a methane tractor, 1,000 hours a year, let's just say 20 litres an hour. Just as an average. As yeah. an average. Yeah, yeah. So that costs you twenty pound an hour for your diesel yeah. tractor. Yeah, thousand hours a year, twenty thousand quid. Yeah, right. Calculate your right. <laughs> Methane tractor. Right. So I'll have to start from the beginning. So um, the trailer that we've got there holds three and a half ton. So three thousand five hundred kilos. Because of the way that is emptied, you will only ever get that half empty. Um, because you're always wanting to top up to the highest of the tank level. Approximately 1,750 kilos is being used, and again, approximately 100 hours. So if you did 1,750 kilos, divide that by 100 hours, that is 17.5 kilograms per clock hour. And how much is a kilogram? It's approximately 16 pence a kilo. Just remember, diesel tractor, 20 pound an hour is costing average. Do you want to read it out? Two pound eighty per hour. <laughs> if you were set up with your little pumping station, then you're then twenty grand a year better off. No brainer. The big question is, and it's all right, Ben turning around and telling us how wonderful this all is. So Ben, would you have another one? Yeah, you would. Definitely. I think um, looking at how our business is moving forward. Um, and looking at how things are going to be and, and bits and pieces like that, depending on what happens in the future, I could see a place for two units here on this farm. You would run two methane tractors? Don't get me wrong, we'd still have two to three diesel tractors to run alongside, but I could find home for two methane tractors here to keep them busy. So there we are. Um, absolutely blown away, really. I, I thought I was going to enjoy today and have a look at a methane tractor and uh, but I thought I'd be able to report to you and sort of say well there are different things. I can't, I can't, apart from it's a different fuel uh, and yes it does suit certain applications the same as a big tractor suits certain applications. This isn't just yet yeah, we've done that we're now going to something else because as you said with this whole like methane capture and whatever I mean, this is only the beginning, isn't it? Exactly, tip of the iceberg. It really is. Thank you again to New Holland, but especially David, thank you ever so much and, you know, for doing this for us. And Ben, thank you so much for no, having no, no, us pleasure. here. No, 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 absolute pleasure. You know, but thank you for coming. We, well, we'll be back. So there we go, muckers. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic here today to, uh, you know, get a good proper look at this. Plus to speak with Dave, obviously from the manufacturer who's been involved with its development, and then to speak to Ben, who's been involved not only with its development but you know the prototype and actually running it in anger to see what it's, it's like. You know, does it really do what they say? Yes, and, and a lot more. And I just think that you will be seeing so much more of methane in the future on farms because, like we said, this. To all intents and purposes, it's a free fuel. But I've loved having a go in it because I never believed it would be just like a diesel. In some cases, I think a little bit better. Anyway, Marcus, looks like it's that time again. So, until the next one, do well. <laughs>